Hey there, it's Greg from Concord and Knight. Excited to bring you our February 2020 product release. For those of you who had an opportunity to catch up with us at Creativation down in Phoenix a few weeks ago, um, you had a chance to be able to see all of these products before they went live. And now here we are with them available for purchase. So we're really excited about what we have to offer you this month. And as we dive a little deeper in to the video, I'm going to show you some of the, the fun features and um, just unique qualities of each of these products. And for those of you who are newer to Concord and Knight, um, you know that each month we have uh, an earned reward for those of you who spend over $60 in the store. Um, you'll get this free 3x4 stamp set, and it actually coordinates nicely with one of our um, bundles for this month. So be sure to, um, if, you're, if you're close to spending $60, to get yourself to that point so you can get this free um, 3x4 stamp set. It's the I Like You stamp set. So we will go ahead and jump into, um, into each of our new stamp and die product bundles. Here we have our brush stripe background stamp set. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It has a card sized um, brushy, really dry brush background in, in these irregular stripes. And then we have these accent stamps over here. So kind of these little polka dots in a row and then this dashed line. And then we also have this little um, kind of like ink splatter, which is really fun to kind of accent between the lines and things. So pretty straightforward stamp set. It had a really great response when we sneaked it on Instagram. So we're, we're confident that a lot of you are gonna love this. It's a great staple to have in your, in your collection of stamps. And we know there's a lot of background stamps out there. Out there. Um, this one is, just has a really nice modern take on a stripe. So I'm gonna show you a few um, uses for it. Again, like I said, it's pretty straightforward, but um, I wanted to give you the visual of some things that we've done with it. So here is the background. And then in between the lines, we've kind of used that little ink splatter to, to dress it up. You can see that here on the screen card as well. Here it is just stamped alone. It just, I just love the little like raw edges that you get and it's very irregular. Um, sometimes, you know, like we've done, we've done some things where there's some stripes that kind of have that sketched look, but I really like how, um, just how raw looking that is. There it is in yellow. And so you can just see it's a really, really nice, um, backdrop and the brighter colors you do, the more it pops. So I'll pull these over here to the side for a minute and show you a few samples using this. And we've incorporated some of our other um, products um, just to, to show you what you can do with this. So this is using only that little polka dot background and you can see we just went up there in a little um, coordinated spectrum there. And then we used our Hey Girl dies from our one of our recent releases to um, make a quick and simple card. So the only stamping we did on there was with that little polka dot piece. Here you can see another card. This is using um, this is using our earned reward for the month of February, and just a nice big bold "I like you." And, um, and then these flowers actually come from the Modern Frames bundle. But you can see here we did a two tone where we used the sketch stripe background and then the um, dashed line, and you can just see how nicely that kind of fits in between there. And then this card is using our um, Meadow Blossoms bundle. Um, we just have a little flower there and one of the sentiments that comes with the Meadow Blossoms stamp set. And then in a monochromatic um, color scheme, we used the splatter piece and then also the ink splatter and then the, um, and then just the sketch stripe background. So I love how bold that background is. But even with how bold it is, it's still a very nice backdrop for anything. You can see with nice geometric shapes, with florals. So we know that this is going to be a popular background, and we hope that you'll want to pick it up for your collection of stamps. Here we have our Meadow Blossoms bundle. It's a stamp and die bundle, and it's a really nice coloring set. So for all of you color enthusiasts out there, whether you like to draw with uh, color with alcohol markers, watercolor, color pencil, 
Um, it's a great set for you. It's a really nice scale, um, this big um, floral arrangement. It's a nice scale for a card front. Um, we also included in the stamp set this um, smaller little flourish there, which is a single blossom and then some leaves, some foliage on there. The die set cuts out both of these um, both of these images from the stamp set. And then we have a nice array of all occasion sentiments in there. So we have thanks and friend in a nice um, serifed, alpha, uh, serifed font. And then we have a fun scripty font that can kind of accent those words. So you can do like, you are beautiful friend, um, missing you friend, thanks for being so kind, um, always better when we're together friend. So fun ways to mix and match those sentiments. And I just love this scripty font. It goes really nice with the stamp set. Um, I have a few little, I'll push these up a little so we can make some room down here. So you can see that this was just colored here with some alcohol markers and it's really a fun um, floral image. We intentionally went with um, kind of a loose look, hence the name Meadow Blossoms. It's just feels like something you'd kind of come across in a meadow and um, just very naturally beautiful. So we also have that other little um, flourish there. So if you want to use it as a smaller accent on cards. Um, and I wanted to show you how nicely it looks on some finished cards. So this is using our um, brushed stripe background stamp set as the backdrop. We just did that in a nice black stripe there. And then you can see if you layer, take the, your colored image and layer it on the card with a simple congratulations. That could be beautiful for wedding or for a baby shower or anything really. Um, love how it's just, it, it's a very, I love how on trend that card looks. Stripes with florals is always a really nice combination. So love this card. Put that up there. Here we have one that's running um, a landscape on the card and we've taken our same um, brush stripe background stamp set and then very similar to this card but using craft with um, like a craft card base with some um, versifying or ver sorry versamark um, to to make that really nice tone on tone backdrop for the card. I think these would actually look nice if you if you did a few of those in a little set and you could gift that to somebody as a nice, um, a, just a nice little card pack. Here we've used watercolor paper as the card base for this and just did kind of a minimalist, kind of a deconstructed watercolor look. So we stamped the large image here twice and then chose to just watercolor in a few of those details. And I, I think that's beautiful. It's an impactful way to do a simple card and um, it's beautiful, like it would be beautiful also to completely watercolor out that whole entire card. But it is kind of fun to just have a few of those elements watercolored in and it looks very intentional the way that it was done. So love that card. This one is super cool. I just love how fresh and different that looks from these, these other samples. These are just a lot more bold and um, beautiful in their own right, but this is just a much more soft and subtle um, take on using the Meadow Blossom stamp set. And so what we've done here is this is actually just white embossed on um, on some paper where we've just taken ink and we've done a nice real subtle um, sponging where it's a nice gradation from one color to the next. And then cropped out that panel and put it on a white card base with a simple thanks from the stamp set and it's done. And that's actually, um, for those like using um, some sponge daubers, really quick way to get um, ink on a backdrop and then white emboss and it's so simple and very impactful but a simple approach to, to coloring. So it's great too for those of you who aren't super comfortable with maybe water coloring or using alcohol markers like this, but you want to have a nice punch of color on the card. Um, sponge jobbers with your, with just any of your inks is a great approach to that. So I'll put that over there. And then here we have a, a, just another nice take 
on this Stampin' Die set. And we've actually incorporated the dies from our modern frame bundle. Um, this hexagon shape, it's kind of an irregular hexagon. And when you cut it out twice, it looks really nice. Just stagger it on top of itself like that. And then we use the smaller of the two images um, just to accent that frame. And then down here you can see we've used the larger image to create a very subtle tone on tone background and then thanks for being so kind it's a very um I, I love how clean and simple this card is and a lot of times you'll see clean and simple cards and they're just a white card base um but i love that this is using a color but still accomplishing that clean and simple that clean and simple look so you can never have too many beautiful florals to color and um, they've always been some of our most popular stamp sets and so we're really excited about um, this all occasion coloring set and we're excited to see what you do with it. Many of you are probably aware at this point that one of the unique product lines to Concord and Ninth is our turnabout stamp sets and we have dozens of these stamp sets um, that we've designed for the last few years and they're a lot of fun to use. If you haven't picked one up yet, you need to just give it a try. Um, these are used in your Misty um, or other stamping platforms. And it's essentially, um, you take the stamp set and you rotate it four times, the paper um, inside of your Misty, And then this stamp will create a very cool printed paper looking backdrop. So it'll end up looking like this. I know that's hard to believe. And what's really fun about this one, this is only the second time we've been able to do two um, turnabouts in one stamp set. So if you'll remember back to our holiday release from 2019, we had the Hollyberry turnabout and it had two turnabouts in one six by eight, six inch by eight inch stamp set. And it's not always possible to do that, but when we have the opportunity to do that, we like to, to give you the most bang for your buck. So we're really excited that you get two turnabouts in one stamp set. So you can see here, this one is the floral piece to this. And then we have the greenery, which is just a bunch of leaves. And um, you can use them together as shown here. But what's really great is that they actually work independent of each other. So if you wanted to get just like a fun scattered leaf background, you could use that one, or you could just use the flowers and get your your blossoms um, in just on, on one backdrop. But look how cool it is when you end up using those together. And it's really fun and it's, it's forgiving. Like when you use them together, you can see here that it's a very um, kind of fun organic uh, spread of flowers and leaves. So don't be intimidated to pick them up and, and use both of them together. You can do it. And so um, really, really fun. We actually used the open spaces in the stamp set as well to give you some sentiments so that you have opportunities to, um, to, to finish out your entire card. This is just a standalone um, it's a standalone stamp set, it won't be sold in a bundle, but it does coordinate nicely back to um, back, back to our Stitched Blooms bundle. And so we intentionally did that. So if you picked up all the products together, they do coordinate nicely. And I just wanted to show you that we have um, all of the, the words in here to create some nice uh, all occasion uh, stamp, or all occasion sentiments for your cards. So, um, I'd like to show you now some of the fun cards that we've made using this stamp set and also some of our other products that coordinate nicely with it. So um, pull these to the side. I'll actually leave that one on there so you can keep that image in your mind of how beautiful that looks when it's fully stamped. And so here is a card actually using, um, that's, that's using both the flower and leaf options um, with your turnabout and you can just see how nicely that backdrops and then with a simple you're so kind cut out with a circle um, cut out in a circle on top of that such a nice um, card to give to anybody anytime here's another card where we've used both the leaf and the flower turnabouts um, in here and then this is actually um, the sentiment and the stitched uh, little 
panel there on the card is from our Stitch Blooms bundle, which coordinates really nicely with this turnabout. And it's kind of fun. So you can see on this one we used pinks and blues, and then this one it's nice that it has that fun punch of yellow on there. So both of those beautifully using the flower and leaf option. Here we've also created a backdrop using the flowers and the leaves, but this time it's all monochromatic. So we did that in Versamark on a craft card base, and it's a very beautifully, um, it's like a, a really nice complex background, but still not like overly busy. And then it looks really nice using the modern, the hexagon, that irregular hexagon from Modern Frame. And we've actually fussy cut out one of these, the little friend, and Hello is using our tall type alphabet. And then that little flower comes from the Stitch Blooms bundle as well. So really fun, uh, really fun card. And I just, I love how different, like using color over here versus going monochromatic, it's using the same stamps, but totally different look. And here we've gone with, gone with a more, um, just a more minimal look. So this is actually only using the flower turnabout, and we've actually chosen to use white embossed for one of those layers. And again, this is, um, we've used this on a few other samples, but it's from our I Like You stamp set, which is the earned reward for February. And then we've also used some of the blossoms that we've cut out from the Stitched Blooms bundle. And you can see how nicely, it's the same type of flower, so it coordinates, like they really cross coordinate well. And then here we have a card where we're just using the leaves. And again, just a totally different look than when you use the flowers and the leaves together. And it's very simple, nice monochromatic on a white card base. So there you have our Blooms Turnabout stamp set. We know this is gonna be really um, a really desired stamp set. We could hardly keep the Hollyberry Turnabout, the double turnabout from our holiday release um, in stock. And so we know that um, we're gonna have a lot of you out there that wanna snag this and with good reason, we love this stamp set. So there you have it, the Blooms Turnabout stamp set. Here we have our Stitched Blooms bundle. It's a stamp and die bundle. But one thing that I really like about this is that the die actually takes center stage with this bundle. Um, usually it's the stamp and then we have a coordinating or a supporting die. But this one, there's a lot of fun and unique qualities to the die. And so I'm gonna actually choose to talk about that first. Um, you can see the largest piece here. It's actually a stitched die where it has the little stitched lines. And I'm gonna show you, hopefully, yeah, there you go. You can see that really nice and clear. If you use that twice and then you flip it around and use it again, it can give you a beautiful full um, stitch background. And I just love how delicate those stitched lines look. And we are very, we, we looked at a bunch of different ways of how close that stitch could be together. And this is where we landed and I just love it. So um, you can see that there are other dies in there that support this background really nicely. There's a few label pieces. We have a die, um, dies that say thank you. There's one that says love. And then there are also these little frame dies that cut out these floral images that you can use to accent um, in the background. And it's kind of fun. So you can see these stamped and die cut flower and leaf elements. Um, they look really nice when you layer them on top of the stitched background. So that was a very intentional um, design element of this that, that the die cut pieces work really nicely with that stitched background. And I did want to point out that um, this bundle coordinates beautifully with our Bloom's Turnabout stamp set. And if you pick up this bundle, we wanted to make this a nice, nice price point. So we have a small stamp set to support the die. And then if you wanted to pick up this larger six by eight double Bloom's Turnabout, um, it's a really nice um, product pairing. So I didn't want to forget to mention that we have a really nice coordinated turnabout that looks nice with this stamp set and die. I wanted to show you also how some of these dies work together. So I'm going to push these up and out of the way a little bit. Um, so we have 
this label shape in here. And in the stamp set, there's the Thinking of You um, stamp there, and it fits really perfectly inside of that label shape. But then we also have some of these longer, uh, more linear cursive stamps that um, that look really, really nice inside of that um, longer stitched label there. And to keep in, like to make it feel really nice and coordinated, we have included that stitched element on these labels. It just really made sense for the, the overall look and feel of the, um, of the dies. So we also have uh, the thank you and the love inside in, in there. And you can see that the you is separate because then you can do that love you or thank you. And then you could also choose to do them side by side. So you can stock them for the for this label shape or use them side by side. We're always trying to think about how to extend the use of our stamps and dies. And so um, that was very intentional to keep those separate so that you can get multiple looks there. And then you can also see that, you know, we can, you can use um, this other label shape just to um, get a different look as well. So I want to now show you some of the, um, the projects that we've used. And I'm just gonna, somebody was commenting one time about how we just slide things off to the side. It's the easiest way though, but I'm gonna make some room now for our um, samples that we've made using this Stitch Blooms Stamp and Die Bundle. Okay, here we have a really clean and simple card, but um, you can see that we've used the stitched die background and we've used it twice. Um, and then we've just layered it with a bunch of these die cut out stamped um, flowers and leaves, and then just layered it on top with a, a love you. And that is actually using the love and the you die. And we've just pieced it right back in there. And I just, I love this card. It's just, there's so many things. I love the balance of it all. And I do love a nice, clean white card base with lots of color on top of it. So really nice, um, beautifully timeless card. So here we actually have a little set of cards for you. And this is actually just used, these have just used the um, stitched floral background. Um, we've just used those once. And you can see it kind of creates like a half circle design on that card and then just accented it very simply with um, a little hello and a little flower on there. Super simple. Um, these would be great for a little note card, um, a gift, a little gift pack of, of note cards that you could just use some um, really nicely coordinated card stocks. Here is a similar card to this first one, but we've actually fussy cut around the outside of that to give it a little more dimension. I just love how much that looks like, like a nice lace um, floral background, and then just accented it with uh, a little label that says thinking of you and um, some die cut stamped flowers. This is really fun. It's a, we've actually taken the stitched background and we've done it twice and we've done it on watercolor paper. And so it's a little hard to see in video. I'm going to pull that up closer so you can see those stitched elements are showing through, but um, I just love that it turns it into this really vintage look. And um, it's, I just, I just think it's a really fun different take on using the die. Okay, and now we've actually, instead of stacking, um, instead of stacking the, the die on top of each other like this and then flipping around like that, we've actually used it coming onto the card this way and then coming onto the card that way. So it creates kind of this staggered backdrop and just a fun different use of it. And then we've incorporated um, the modern frame bundle, which is where this irregular hexagon shape comes from. And then we took some of the sentiments from the Bloom's Turnabout and then accented it with some of our stamped and die cut flowers from this Stitch Bloom's bundle. So there you have it. There's just so many 
fun uses of this, and um, it's we love when when you can just get so many uses out of one stamp and die bundle. And I love that this is it's not a huge stamp set and it's not a huge die set. So if you're looking to to craft a little bit more on a budget, this is a perfect bundle for you. You can get a lot of mileage out of it and as you can see from these cards, there's so many options that you can use it, use um, with, with these products. So there you have it, the Stitch Blooms Bundle. Here we have our Modern Frame Bundle. You can see it's a very, um, it's, it's a very nice bite size bundle. It's not over over the top in any way, but you'll see really shortly how many different options you have using this stamp and die pairing. So first I'm going to just show you real quick. So we have um, this die here and it's actually got a double blade on it and that actually is used so that you can cut out um, this slightly irregular hexagon. It is intentionally irregular so <laughs> You don't need to write in and be like, hey, my die's a little off. It's very intentionally off, and there's a purpose for that. And you can see when you use it, um, it just creates a nice frame for these simple sentiments, and we tried to just come up with as many nice all-occasion sentiments, but you got something in there for like a baby card, a birthday, simple just hello, a thankful card, or a wedding card, and... Um, you can see here, if you, um, I'm gonna scoot some of this up a little bit. If you double that up on itself, it creates a really dynamic um, modern frame, hence the name modern frame dies. And we have it nice, we want it to be nice and airy when you use these, um, these sentiments, because it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be a lot of that negative space in there to create a nice airy look around the sentiments. And then you can see in the die, we also have these, they're standalone dies. There's not a coordinating flower stamp in here, but they're intentionally um, standalone. And you can see you can create these fun die cut um, floral sprigs. And then if you just layer that right there, how beautiful is that? And it's so simple and um, it's, it's a really quick way to, to make a clean and simple card. And Another thing, another option you have when using this is there will be a fallout piece inside of that um, double cut line of this hexagon shape. And so if you cut that out in two colors, you can actually piece that back in and it layers perfectly inside of there because that's the fallout piece. Or you can choose to use that all on its own. So it doesn't have to be, so you can see here you have three options. You can use it as a frame, you can use it as a frame with a and then drop that piece back in there where it fits perfectly, or use that fallout piece on its own. So that's basically the die in the stamp set. So I wanna show you now how we've used it to create some fun all occasion cards. So I'm gonna move these out of the way and I'll put the stamp and die up here. And first up we have this really, really cool yeah, I just think this is so classy using foil paper. We sell um, a neutrals foil pack that has some silver and gold um, in it. And we have multiple packs of foil paper that um, you, you should pick up. They come in six by sixes and great for um, just these really uh, classy elements on a card. You can see we've used the dies. Um, and then we've actually just used our gingham background and we did that tone on tone and I just think this is a, th this card is perfect, so. And I didn't make it, so I can say that. Our, uh, our creative director, Robin, actually made that, and I just think it's the perfect card. Here we have a fun baby card, and this is using our brushed stripe background, and I like the just really subtle, the, the subtle gray, and it's kind of changing colors a little bit. It's, it's a nice soft putty gray. But then we've actually chosen to um, piece back in that fallout and put snuggles, cuddles, and baby love on there. And just a simple 
little floral element to finish it off. I think that's perfect for a baby, a baby shower or a congratulations card. Here, we've actually used the fallout piece um, of that hexagon frame to create um, a negative space to stamp inside. We stamped that to the beautiful couple, but then we've watercolored outside um, of that shape. And I, I really love how that looks. And then we've actually taken these floral elements and the leaves and watercolored those as well on watercolor paper. And I think that just really helps to, you could cut these out of a nice coordinated cardstock, but I just think that the texture and the dimension that the watercolor look gives to that, it just kind of takes it to that next level. And I just, I love that it's just so beautifully simple. Here we have one that's, so these kind of went like more of that um, floral look. We've used the hexagon die in a totally different way here. We used our confetti turnabout and we put the let's celebrate you on there and there you go. It's a very clean and simple um, birthday card. And here we've actually just used this tiny little, it's a, I'm gonna pull that up closer so you can see that. Um, we've used this little dashed line and We've just done it kind of in a spectrum there and attached two little leaf sprigs and so full of gratitude. So simple, so clean. And I just think that that is, got a little something on there. So let me clean that off. Um, just such a cute, simple card. And we actually used some like natural kind of like jute twine and gives it a little bit of that natural texture. And I think that's a great little note card used for any occasion. Again, these would be super cute to make a ton of these and give them as a gift, a little note card pack. So there you have it, our Modern Frame Stamp and Die bundle. And my favorite thing about this, I love how it looks. I love the cards we were able to make with it, but I also love that it will not break the bank. I know I, you buy a lot of crafting products as crafters and not everything has to be a super expensive um, stamp and die bundle. So I think you're really gonna like um, the price point of this and that you'll find that you'll be able to get a lot of use out of it. And so there you have it, it's our modern frame bundle. Okay, everybody, really excited about this bundle. This is our forever flower stamp and die bundle. It comes with a Forever Flower stamp set and the Forever Flower Infinity dies. If you are familiar with the products we came out in Janu with in January, you'll know that we came out with the Endless Birthday Infinity dies. I'm gonna show you a card that we made with that. It is, this one was circular, and it is an infinity card that will turn forever <laughs> if you want to. Um, and you can see that each with each turn, there's just a different facet to the card, okay? So we wanted to see what other types of, um, what other types of cards we could come up with and what other shapes we could do this die with. And we came up with this Forever Flower Infinity die. You can see that the die comes with a um, flower shape and it's a half flower. And then there is two strategically placed score lines on the die and those are perfectly placed so that when you are assembling your Forever Flower card, um, it, it, it fold, it makes sure that they fold in the right spot. So I'm actually gonna pull a sample on early. Normally I like to reveal these at the end of the segment, but I'm gonna show you how this stamp and die come together to create this cool card. So you can see here, it breaks in the middle. I think it's quite clear, you're amazing. And then it folds back with a little heart die cut there. And then the last turn here, thanks for being you. And then it folds back out to the front where we have the hello dear die cut on there. So those scores, those score lines on that die are very important for when you're assembling the card. And I do wanna show you um, how you go about cutting and um, 
how you go about cutting and assembling this card. And you can also reference our Endless Birthday Infinity, um, Infinity Die video segment um, because it is a very similar um, assembly. It's based on cutting out four of these um, of these panels here, okay? And you can see it's kind of hard to see on the screen, especially when it's white, but I'm gonna show you, like I folded right there on that score line. But you're gonna cut out, and I actually I have one here in this coral cardstock, so you can see that a little bit better. But you'll cut out four of those panels and I'm going to use two of them, push these up a little. Um, you'll see here that when you flip those around on each other, it creates the flower shape and there's that cut right through the middle. And then, and I'm just using these white um, panels, you can use whatever colors you would like, but um, I'm using this coral color and these white ones so that you can really see there's a nice contrast with the assembly. You can see that the, the petal shapes are coordinated. So this is actually like symmetrical four ways. Not that you really need to know that, but, um, but when they are layered on top of each other perpendicularly, um, those, uh, it, it matches up symmetrically each time. So what you would do and this one has been stamped, um, but what you would do, there is a tiny triangle portion where um, where those score lines meet up. So you can see right in there is where you will adhe adhere um, your panels together. So it creates a little, there's a right angle right there, and then there's that organic petally shape. We just use some of our double-sided adhesive that comes on a roll. We sell that in our store. But you would do that there and here. There's four times that you would do that. And um, once you take that backing off, you would just go like that. And then this is stuck down. And then you would take your second panel here and then pull that back, put your adhesive there. And then you would peel that back, put adhesive here. Let me pull that up. Put your adhesive there in that corner and go like that. And there are just those four places in on the die that you would do that. And then once that's done, it would, that's the only parts where you'd have to put adhesive down and your, your card base is done. And then essentially you would just go in using the stamps and the um, coordinating dies to really dress up your card. So you can see we have a bunch of, um, a bunch of, sentiments in here and they are intentionally split up so so glad I and know you are intentionally separate stamps because we have or, or like and I'll use this example as well like you're amazing because you want those to be separate because you would use this little banner die here and those break apart when you're flipping through the card so we wanted those to be um be separate intentionally, and they are very similar size. So, so glad I and know you, those are similar width because they work nicely on this banner shape. I knew you could do it, go together. You're amazing, thanks for and being you, happy and birthday. And then I think it's quite clear. And here we've actually stacked those two together, but they do fit on the banner. All of those sentiments fit on this banner die cut shape. So we intentionally designed those that way. And um, when you flip to the fourth layer, or the fourth turn of this card, thanks for and being you, you can see also fit on that banner. So um, we really thought through the different uses and the different ways that you can use the stamp set. There is the big, um, like you can see the big, half floral shape that fits on the panel, but then this uh, dotty background, you can't really see the flower shape, but it is perfectly designed to stamp on the panel as well. So I would like to show you now um, some of the other uses that we've done with this stamp and die bundle. 
here you can see we've done this in a really fun like punch of of pink but we've actually incorporated some of our other stamps and die sets into this one this comes for our thanks for being you stamp set and we've just cut out that and um thank thank you for being sweet and we used our sketch stripes background instead of the polka dot background there and these little floral elements also come for that thanks from that thanks for being you so you can see on that turn it said thanks for being sweet incredibly sweet my friend and you can just see how that like i don't know i just think it's such a fun different way to receive like to give and receive a card so that is a super fun little forever flower card there this one we've actually incorporated our blooms turnabout um, you can see we've used the floral and foliage element there and then this comes from um, our stitch this label shape comes from our stitch blooms um, bundle so when you flip that open you're so kind and that kind is actually from our double cut alphabet dies and then thank you and that comes from the stitch blooms dies as well and then the back we've just left polka dot and flip it back to the beginning how cool is that flowers and flowers and then this last one here we actually took our gingham background and it's fun because it still is it still reads as a flower because it has those very um very apparent petal shapes but um it's kind of fun to mix it with kind of make it a little more abstract with that gingham background and then we have just a happy birthday which comes from the stamp set and then this is from our celebrate you or all about you dice so we have celebrate you and we've incorporated the dots there you deserve all the good stuff and then i just think that's a really fun impactful background taking those same happy birthday stamps and then just creating this cool um where this cool happy birthday background that just bleeds off the sides of those dies and then you fold it back around at the beginning so you can see there's just a lot of fun different takes on how to use these stamps and dies and as always where possible we like to be able to um to to have alternate uses for the stamps um, and dies if possible and so we have created a card here that uses um, it uses the stamps and dies, but in a more traditional way with a, a regular traditional sized card. And we took that half, this is such a nice, big, bold um, floral element. And we just took half of that and it, so it spills nicely onto the card. And then we took the hello and dear from the die set. And then we did take, we have this extra little um, dotty background and we just kind of used that very subtly on the bottom of that card. I think that card's perfect. It's just, um, and you wouldn't even know that it came with these super innovative dies, but um, when possible, we like to be able to stretch our stamps and dies as far as we can. So we're really excited to see what you you do with these. If um, if you loved the endless birthday infinity dies, and um, then we know you're gonna love our forever flower bundle, and super excited to see what you guys come up with. So there you have it, the forever flower stamp and die bundle okay so there you have it our february 2020 product release hopefully you found some things in there that catch your eye and get you excited to add to your craft um, to your craft collection and we know that we're excited and um, excited to see what you make with each of these products happy crafting <music>